the first time that I said that uh, she broke up with me, I had done that without speaking to her, and and it kind of, kind of her over, and it upset her. And she's she's very upset with comments I had made on my show about like women and stuff. The first time, and yeah, the first time. What'd you say but, about uh, women? Um, well, it, it's just that I was talking about how, like, um, we were talking about the strippers at the strip club and yeah. the people in my show are like, Johnny, would ya? And I was like, yeah, they're all beautiful ladies. If they were, if they were actually interested, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn them down. And that upset her and, uh, made her feel like I was just, as she said, uh, you're just dating me until a stripper says yes to you. And then. So she got upset about that. I made that mistake. I rectified it. I bought her a plane ticket out. She came out. Uh, she hung out with me. She, um, I told her I was gonna, uh, I was gonna do better, and by that I meant I was gonna be more open about uh, being in a relationship and stuff like that. But I wasn't discussing much about her, like saying, "Oh, she's really beautiful," and this, that, and the other, because I wasn't trying to give the uh, the chat too much info on her. People so wait, wait, already wait. said they're going to find out. I'm going to jump in when I don't know things and I need to right. need things clarified. You're saying that your lady out in California wanted you to talk about her more on the show. She is she out she of got... her fucking mind? Um. So we made up. No, wait, no. I'm the... legit asking. Like, does she want you to talk about her more? I'm not sure because this is I, something you should clear up. Well, that's the thing. I, I thought we were on the same page of like, I don't really talk about you much on the show because I don't want them like looking for you. And she was always like, yeah, I don't really have an online like profile so that good luck finding me. Don't, and don't, I was like, yeah. yeah. May I interrupt? Don't say that. Good luck right. finding and me. They take that as a challenge. No good luck Ugh. finding me. You need to you need to talk to her and you need to set her straight oh, on no, the no, fact no, no, that no, that's... we do ourselves a fine show here and there's a lot of people that we anger and make very mad and their entire life is about us, which is an honor if you're me. Not an honor if you're her. Okay, so mid-watch, Officer Debbie, pretty good, drunk stop, go. No, uh, so she wants you to talk about her more. Um, well, no, she she was upset when I was talking about other women and I wasn't talking about her the same way. Oh. And like I said, she came out, we spent time together. Uh, she um, Did you she tell her it's because those strippers aren't real people and it doesn't matter if people uh, dox them or confront them? Uh, if I were to say that, she would say something along the lines of, how can you treat women like that and say you respect me? And how can you say that about women and say you respect me? You have a daughter. What's going to happen when she sees this or show? Or uh, how I do hope you... she doesn't become a stripper, right? That's what you should tell her. <laughs> yeah. Because those people are broken. <laughs> but, yeah, so fast forwarding after that, the, the trip was great. Um, but I had... Uh, when, like when I was dropping her off, I guess like she was clutching my arm because we were going to be separated. And, uh, and I asked her to stop touching my arm because I use it to drive and I was driving in the cities and she, wait, 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 wait hold that on. Is me know. snapping at her. No, and I need, so... I need to stop again. You're driving and she's holding onto your arm. Yeah. Now I don't know this could like your driving experience is probably a million times different than mine. You can't drive with the one with the one arm. No, because the arm that she was grabbing is the one that I have to use to help control my legs. Oh yeah, that's important that's driving. Yeah, right. So I just um, I inadvertently did a lot of things that hurt her that she kind of brushed under and didn't didn't uh, say to me. So I didn't know that. And then uh, when uh, I went last week, we were I, I did a show and I was talking about. Oh, Jesus, I don't even remember what I was talking. Oh, wait, yeah, I remember. Um, a streamer named Digger420. Uh, Who now? Check her out on YouTube, Digger420. Digger420. Um, a streamer named Digger420, smaller channel than mine. She's been a, in my chat. I didn't even know it was a she at first. And she dropped kind of like a I can smoke you out kind of gauntlet, like let's go. And so I accepted this that is a challenge. Weed, a weed smoking thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and apparently I was very flirty and made references to my dick. And um, 
And uh, because of all of that, she's like, oh, so you're just going to meet up with this chick and you're going to smoke weed with her? And, and and I was like, no. And she's like, you said it had to be in person. And, like, I don't even remember what I said. Time out. Yep. Time out. I, I just want to point out how we as men retell our stories about women. And I'm not shitting on you because I do the same thing. It's like the part that upsets them, we gloss over. And that's only going to make them more upset. Like, you're like, yeah, she said I was, like, flirting with her and talking about my dick. Whatever. Anyway, look, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, to a woman talking about your dick around another woman is they get possessive about that kind of thing, like your dick. Well, at any rate, like, I don't remember if I said that or not. I'd have to literally go back and watch my show. But I told her that I was like, if I said that, I misspoke. It's We're not meeting up in person. I don't know who this person is. And she's like, oh, you're just going to meet this chick to have, uh, to to smoke up with and hook up with. like, uh, And I'm like, I, no, there was no hooking up ever intended. And I didn't even know she was a woman at first. And may, so I, and like, may I, I say, God that. bless her for thinking that you can just meet someone. And I mean, that, that's got to be kind of a, you got to look at that as a little bit of an ego boost. The fact that this chick, looks at you and goes, if he even gets around a girl, he's going to be able to... Like, that's a weird thing about women is they they kind of forget when they get jealous that having sex with someone is a two-way street and the other person has to want to, too. They just assume that everybody's going to want to fuck your man, that Johnny's Mr. Steal Your Girl, well, and that if you way, meet up with this girl is... and start smoking, you're going to stick your dick in her. I find that very funny. I'm just saying. The point is she was very hurt about that stuff. So she was being uh, very cold to me and saying she didn't want to talk. I was giving her space, and that was apparently the wrong thing to do. I was supposed to call her and find out what was wrong. And uh, so she got upset with me again and uh, texted me saying that she didn't think it was going to work out and she wanted to pull the plug, and I told her I didn't want to cancel our plans and and everything. And she's like, I don't either, but this uh, doesn't seem like it's going to work. And so... Um, when she said the pull the plug thing, I, I assumed we were done. And I made that assumption again on Sunday without talking to her. And she got really, really upset with me, which led to a tirade of phone calls where she informed me that I'm, uh, I'm a, I'm a liar and a jerk. Oh, time and, out, time uh, out. Can I guess? Did she use the word narcissist? No. They all do. Okay. That's coming. Don't worry. Um, well, she said I was a liar and a jerk and all this other stuff. And she kept calling me to berate me. And no matter how much I apologize, how's your hair? Didn't believe it. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, she called to berate you. But yeah, so that all kept going. And, uh, you didn't like that. You didn't like that joke. I, I, no, I, just, I did. It's just, <laughs> I know you're difficult. focused. I'm trying to knock you off your game. I'm being an ass. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, we were texting and we were talking and arguing in circles for hours. Um, I kept apologizing, but according to her, I have to do a sincere apology, which means like not not talking about women on my show because the last show that she was upset with, I um, I talked about the girl that's going to be on Dancing with the Stars with an ankle bracelet, and I showed her. Like, oh my God! Her can you give me her name and phone number? It sounds like my dream girl. Oh, there's a joke I want to make. I know. Oh. I get it. I understand. Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, so I was talking about her. I put her picture up and I read the story and I'm used to my chat being full of thirsty dudes. So when I went back to the chat, I actually mentioned how I was surprised that nobody made any thirsty dude comments. And apparently, um, uh, and then after that, we got talking about, at some point, we got talking about cheesecake and I mentioned how I used to make cheesecakes and then I made some comment about how I should make cheesecakes uh, uh, when I work at Fat Jack's to give them to the strippers so they'll rub their titties on me for now, some Now, is cheesecake. this, were you talking to Digger420 about this? Or is no, this I was just talking to my chat and my show about this. This was me talking out my ass okay. about how I used to make cheesecakes. So far, here's what I, here's my diagnosis so far. And this is not a, this is not an indictment of anyone. I mean, who am I? Uh, but this is not a, a judgment of anyone. This is just an observation. Uh, number one, I think if you're going to do a long distance thing, you need to be very secure in yourself and the other person. And this person seems like they're being, I'm not going to say they are. They seem like they're being very insecure. Uh, when you have a significant other 
and you're also a public performer, you can't just shut off one half of the the population, which is women, and never talk about them or never talk to them. Or ne- I mean, it it has to happen. You you can't change who you are as an entertainer just because this person doesn't like it if you say Digger 420 or whatever. Um, I, I feel like she's being oversensitive. I feel mm. like she's reading a lot of her insecurity into the stuff you do. Uh, if this Digger 420 is a fan and you guys want to talk a little shit, that's fine. Uh, also, if, but, I, you know, at the same time, if she feels disrespected, I mean, you do have to take that into consideration. Yeah. Listen. And, she uh, felt disrespected. But at the same time, I mean, to go, it seems like she's using the we're done thing as like a manipulation. Like she, t- if you're done, then be done. If you're well, not, if you're not, thing. she's if you're saying not, she's pulling out. the plug, but she's saying that because she wants me, I guess, to call and fix it. And when I interpret that as being done without talking to her, that's again, that was me being disrespectful. And, no, what uh, that is, is you don't want to be manipulated by the, you know, pulling the plug. Like that's someone trying to gain control and the upper hand in an argument or discussion instead of dealing as equals. If you go, well, then we'll pull the plug. Now, okay, you've pulled back your affection, you've pulled back your love, whatever you want to call it. Now you want that other person to call you so that you can then meter out that love back to them a little bit because, you know, they're, you're hitting the feed pedal for the hamster mm-hmm. because they're doing the thing that you want them to do. That's kind of gross. I don't like that. I Instead, what you have to do well, is... Well, she was also saying, like, not to interrupt you, but she's also saying it wasn't just that I was talking about these people. She's saying, you'd light up when you talk about them and or whatever, and you don't light up like that when you talk about me. And it's like, I don't, I don't really talk about you on the show, other than mentioning, like, a couple of times since, like, the week she spent here, I've been very active to mention, like, oh, I have a girlfriend, and oh, I'm in a relationship. But, um... And so, like, I've been making sure, like, oh, would like when would you? Like, I mean, yeah, I would, but I'm in a relationship right now. Like, so it's, I don't know. I wanted mostly to come out here and just prostrate myself and say I did everything wrong and it was all my fault. No, 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 but, no, 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 but, no, no. no. Hold on, oh, let okay. me finish. Um, I wanted to do that and I was planning to do that, but then uh, I, uh, she, she kept arguing with circles in circles with me yeah I don't and if my she's daughter arguing started with, crying to see me my daughter started crying to see daddy she hadn't seen daddy for two days she wanted to come downstairs and see daddy so i told her i was like look i'm, I'm not trying to end this but i my daughter's crying to see me i want to go see my daughter and spend time with my daughter and the last time that we had this cyclical argument stuff when i did the i i have to go see my daughter and I stopped talking to her. She just kept texting. And so I sat there texting with her because my phone kept going off. My daughter literally got completely disinterested in being around me and left. Like, she was sad. So I didn't want to do that again this time. So yeah. when I told her, like, I have to go talk to my daughter, she goes, oh, yes, because I'm not a priority. 